today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open two more of these Ultimate Masters draft packs and the contents will be given away to one lucky winner in the US or Canada. So this is celebrating a 3000 subscriber milestone. I'll leave a link to the giveaway video in the description for this one so you can check that out if you haven't entered it already. And entries close tomorrow, that is December 30th at 5 p.m. Central Time, so there's not much time left. So if you want to get in on that, hurry over to that link, check it out. And the winner will receive the rares, mythics, foils, and anything else of value we pull from here. So looking forward to seeing what we can get. And of course, these packs are always difficult to open and with me to do the pack blessing duties today we have Liliana and Tezzeret and if you're not familiar holy moly this design is atrocious if you're not familiar with the pack blessings that's where we bless the packs to get extra value so we'll lay those out there hopefully this second one will be a little easier to get into and how have people been doing with Ultimate Masters? Have you had some crazy pulls? Leave a note in the comments. Alright, so let's lay these out here. And we will have Liliana to do the blessings first of all, followed by Tezzeret. Fingers crossed we get something good here. And if you haven't already, on Christmas Day, we actually opened, I think it was about 10 of these for the patrons. So that will go into the patrons snack pack box. So I'll also leave a link to the MTG Unpacked Patreon, where you can get in on all the pack cracking action. All right, so without further ado, let's get started here and see if I can open these with the little pull tab there. All right, let's get started. We have a zombie and grave strength foil with, oh, a mythic right off the bat, Machaeus the Unhallowed Mythic. So this is a legendary creature zombie cleric, five, five, four, six mana with intimidate. Whenever a human deals damage to you, destroy it. Other non-human creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and have undying. So that's when a creature with undying dies. If it had no plus one, plus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Very cool pull there. Pretty happy about that one. I bet the winner will be happy as well. And uncommons we have Murderous Redcap, Rolling Temblor, Grave Strength, Non-Foil. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Commons, we have Reckless Worm, Rune Snag, Faith's Fetters, Crushing Canopy, Olivia's Dragoon, Shed Weakness, Patchwork Gnomes, Heliod's Pilgrim, Thermo Alchemist, Mir Servitor, who's a fan of the Mirs? Leave a note in the comments. All right, pack number one, off to a great start with a Mythic. And of course, I really hate how they've done this because it's almost impossible to open the packs. Maybe I'll try the traditional method with some of the others. And we get, what a surprise, another zombie token here with a foil, Undying Rage. And a Raging Ravine. So this is a land into the battlefield tapped at a mountain or forest. Pay two mountain forest until end of turn. It becomes a 3-3 red and green elemental creature with whenever this creature attacks. But a plus one, plus one counter on it. It's still a land. Not bad. And for the uncommons, we have Firewing Phoenix. Become immense. Golgari Charm. Commons, we have Frantic Search. Hissing Iguana. That's a pretty crazy name there. Think twice. Ghoul Caller's Accomplice. Prey upon Crow of Dark Tidings, who is a fan of the zombie birds. We have Defy Gravity, Tethmos High Priest, Cat Cleric, Spark Spitter, that'd be a cool foil, Martyr of Sands, and that is it for pack number two. Onward, pack number three, let's see if I can open this the traditional way. 
And right about now, some of you are saying, why are you going through the commons? Well, this channel is not about just pulling the value right away. We like to have a look at the artwork and surprisingly enough, people actually play with the common cards. I know that's a shocking concept to some people. All right, next up we have Elemental Token with a Foil Thermo Alchemist. And <laughs> another Mythic. So it's not the craziest Mythic, but still I'll take it. Lord of Extinction, Star Star for five mana. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in all graveyards. Very nice, so two Mythics so far. Uncommons, Firewing Phoenix, Become Immense, Golgari Charm. And for the commons we have Hyena Umbra, Flight of Fancy, Canker Abomination, Tree Folk Horror, Holy Cow, Wild Mongrel, Foil, Grave Scrabbler. That's a creepy guy. Groundskeeper, Conviction, Generator Seventh. Safe hold elite, and that is it. All right, moving on to the next pack. We've only got three left. And if you are not aware, I've been streaming on MTG Arena lately. A lot of fun games. We've had some viewer challenges. Taking the new burn deck for a spin, so that's been a lot of fun. Also had a rat colony in there at one point. That deck is absolutely hilarious for the uh, Pauper Challenge, so check those videos out if you haven't already. Next up we have an Elemental Token. OMG! Snap Custom Mage Foil. This is a jackpot pull and now I'm wishing why didn't I pull this in my packs? Oh well. The winner is going to be ecstatic. So this is a jackpot pool. 2-1 for 2 mana with flash. When Snapcaster Mage enters the battlefield, target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. So the flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. You may cast that card from your graveyard for its flashback cost then exile it. I can't believe that. That is probably one of the most insane pools I've had. From this and we also get oh my god a noble hierarch creature human druid zero one for a single forest this is another crazy pull it has exalted whenever a creature you control attacks alone that creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn tap add a forest plains or island to your mana pool this is insanity i have not Mostly you pull just garbage from these draft packs, but this is a really nice set here. All right, uncommons we have Canter Skull, Plume Veil, Malevolent Whispers. And for the commons we have Cathodian, Rune Snag, Hooting Mandrels. That's us. We got some Mythics. So what is that now? Like three Mythics? And I've even put it in the wrong... Oh, actually, yeah, that's a foil. Got it in the foil pile. Holy cow. Okay, Death Denied. Sanitarium Skeleton. Verdant Eidolon. Wandering Champion. Arena Athlete. Mere Servitor. Runum Unicorn. And that is it. Down to the last two packs. But already, these things have paid for themselves and then some. So you're looking at about... Uh, I think it's like 70 something for the pair of packs here. We're probably, I would say, well over a hundred bucks in value here. I would have worked that out in the editing. You would have seen it pop up in the corner there. These are some of the most insane pulls I've ever had from Ultimate Masters. Let's see if we can continue that streak. We have a zombie token. Raid Bombardment Foil. And Seize the Day is the rare, so this is a sorcery for four. Look at that dude, he's pretty beefy, he knows what's up. Untapped target creature after this main phase as an additional combat phase, followed by an additional main phase. Flashback cost is a two and a mountain, you may cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then exile it. Not bad at all. And uncommons, we have Miraculous Recovery, Prismatic Lens, Boneyard Worm. And commons, we have Frantic Search, Satyr Wayfinder, Just the Wind, 
Gurmag Angler, Zombie Fish, Eel Umbra, Crushing Canopy, Slum Reaper, Lotus Eye Mystics, Reckless Charge, Shielding Plaques, and that is it. Alright, last pack here. Oh, I've already pulled an insane amount of value, so what else are we going to get here? And this time, we're going to slow roll it, so we're going to have token, foil, rare, and let's put our uncommons just here. Let's go through the commons. Okay, so we have Skywing Avon, Fiery Temper, Ether Snipe, Death Denied, Kodama's Reach. That one was a dollar or so at one point. I think it's dropped a fair bit by now. Awful Snout, there he is, Champion. Il Umbra, Angelic Renewal, Ingot Chua, Turn to Mist, and that is it for the commons. Let's move on. Make sure I have the right pile here. Yes, this is the uncommons. We have Heap Doll, Mahamoti Jin, and Blast of Genius. All right. So let's swap the foil here because it could be a crazy pull. And our token is a homunculus. And what is the rare? We have Dig Through Time. Not bad. So this is an instant for eight. Has delve. So each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this spell pays for one. Look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. And the foil is a groundskeeper. So, say creature human druid, 1-1 one, one for a single forest, pay one in a forest, return target basic land card from your graveyard to your hand. Alright, so let's do a quick review here. So, we have some absolutely fantastic pulls, Noble Hierarch. We've got a Lord of Extinction, Mythic, Raging Ravine, and Micaeus the Unhallowed. And for the foils, foil, snappy, really, that is craziness. Thermo Alchemist, Undying Rage, and Grave Strength. Alright, so by this point, if you have not entered the giveaway and you're in the US or Canada, you may want to reconsider. Again, the link is in the description for this video. Check that out. There are a number of different entry methods there. So hopefully you'll be in with a chance. And MTG Unpacked is now on Patreon. So if you want to get in on the pack cracking action there, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.